Just how much better is Kaleidoscape than physical media? So in this video, we're going to take a look at a difference in quality between physical media and Kaleidoscape movie downloads from a perspective of how big are they. And yeah, right off the bat, I know size of the file, size of the, the video content isn't necessarily always the best or certainly the only indicator of how good something is or how quality is or, or what might actually look better than the other. There's a whole lot of different elements that go in to encoding something doing it properly, tools, processes, and all of that in order to make a good quality encoded result. And yeah, sometimes the thing with less data, less bitrate, and less size thrown at it might still be the better looking thing if it went through a better process. But we're gonna look at a variety of titles across a variety of studios and at least try to establish a little bit of a trend based on size. Are Kaleidoscape downloads significantly larger than their physical media encoded counterparts. Because I do believe that, yes, despite all of the other factors involved in uh, the resulting quality of, of a video stream or a piece of content, size matters. And the more bits you throw at something, the greater the size, all else being generally equal, you should have a better encoded result, less noise, less artifacts, and less all of that, all else being equal. So let's take a look at a variety of pieces of content. All right, so here we go. I'm using my MacBook Pro M1 Pro 16 inch here, directly recording the screen. On the left, I have Mac OS Finder pulled up and navigated essentially to the root of the movies folder. On my Synology server, this is where I keep all of my movies, my local ripped MKBs. And on the right, we have the Kaleidoscape webpage itself, which will give us the ability to look up any given movie and get an idea of its size. And we're just gonna roll through a variety of titles here and take a look. Again, for my MKVs, these are either uh, HD Blu-ray or 4K UHD Blu-ray main movie rips with the, the movie video stream and the best audio, single audio track, and then subtitles, of course, where applicable. So let's take a look at Alita, Alita Battle Angel here. I don't actually own this on Kaleidoscape, but that doesn't matter. Notice on the Kaleidoscape webpage, if I click on a title, and I go down through the information and I click on size, here I can see the download size. And we get it quoted for different types of qualities, 4K HDR, 4K Ultra HD, and then Blu-ray, high definition Blu-ray quality. Note, this is often a point of confusion for Kaleidoscape. Movies are available to download in many cases in either 4K HDR or what they call 4K Ultra HD, 4K UHD. In this case, always 4K UHD, 4K Ultra HD, means 4K SDR, uh, which is beneficial for folks with certain projectors. And so you can opt for the 4K encoding with HDR or without HDR in some cases, but 4K Ultra HD is always 4K SDR and HDR as a tag always means 4K HDR. So right off the bat here, Alita Battle Angel MKV RIP 44.41 gigabytes, Kaleidoscape download size 67 67.5 gigabytes. So that's a pretty c considerable difference. Now there may be some some minor differences. I would actually kind of discount anything within five or maybe 10%, certainly is not having any major tangible quality difference. I don't download separately multiple audio tracks. And in some cases, the Kaleidoscape download might reflect multiple audio tracks if there's Atmos and then an additional or a separate type of like Dolby digital track. Uh, but in here, when we see something like this, right, this is considerable. That's around 50% more data for this encoding. And I just one more thing before we roll through some more titles. I am doing this completely ad hoc. I'm doing it as I go. I did not cherry pick. I did not pre-select. We're just going to go through a variety of MKVs that I have alphabetically and take a look and see what we find. All right, so here we have A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, Sony Pictures Movie, MKV 49.74 gigabytes. Kaleidoscape size 54.6, a little bit larger, but again, we're kind of within that 10% band and I'm not going to, I'm gonna count this one as even. All right, here we go, Back to the Future, 71.95 gigabyte in the MKV 4K disc rip, 63 gigabyte in the Kaleidoscape 4K HDR. We have a win pretty close to that 10%, but we're gonna go ahead and give this one a plus on the physical media side. 
All right, 1980s Batman, Michael Keaton, Jack Nicholson, Warner Brothers. I've got 69.89 gigabytes, 4K, uh, Blu-ray, MKV rip, 66.3 gigabytes, Kaleidoscape. We're within a couple, we'll call this one a wash. All right, Nolan Batman, let's look at The Dark Knight. We have 58.12 gigabytes, 4K Blu-ray, MKV rip, 81 gigabytes, Kaleidoscape. Pretty considerable difference there. We will give that plus to Kaleidoscape. Blade Runner 2049, 75.88 gigabytes, Blu-ray, MKV, 4K rip, 83.8 gigabytes, 4K HDR, Kaleidoscape download. Just a bit outside, a little greater than 10%. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and give this give a plus to to Collide Escape on this. They they just just edged it out by enough. But let's go ahead. Actually, let's take a look at Enter the Dragon. This is the Criterion HD rip compared to the Collide Escape encode. I've got 27.46 Enter the Dragon Criterion disc HD Blu-ray, 31.4 Collide Escape download size. Again, just just a little bit more than 10%. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one to Kaleidoscape. We're skipping the C's because there wasn't really anything under the C letter that I could I could equate. So we're into the D's. DC Animation, let's take a look at Batman Hush. I like a lot of these DC animated films. I find them to be quite good. But in any case, we're looking at 57.22 gigabytes for the 4K MKV Blu-ray rip. And we've got 44.5 in the 4K HDR download on Kaleidoscape. Win for physical media here. DC Universe live action films. Let's take a look. Just picking one randomly again. Wonder Woman 1984, one of the newer. I've got 67.37 4K Blu-ray rip, 79.9 gigabytes Kaleidoscape HDR download. Nice outsizing there. We'll give that plus 2K. Checking in on some Disney animation and Kanto, the latest one that I have. Uh, on my server, 54.18 gigabytes on the Blu-ray rip, 4K Blu-ray rip, 59.9 gigabytes on Kaleidoscape. Uh, we're right at that 10% edge again, but I'm going to call this one even. Uh, DreamWorks Animation, just picking one. Again, w m more so the the latest uh, available movie that I have on my server to compare. Crude's A New Age from 2020, 41.48 gigabytes, uh, 4K physical media rip, 48.1 Kaleidoscape. Greater than 10%, we'll go ahead and give the plus to K on this one. Slim, but still still there and still bigger than 10%. All right, here's one should be interesting. Dune 2021 Dune movie, 73.45 gigabytes 4K Blu-ray rip, 80.6 Kaleidoscape download 4K HDR. If we took 10%, we're within the band. Let's go ahead and call this a wash. All right, here we have Free Guy, 20th Century Fox. 4K Blu-ray rip, 49.89 gigabytes. Kaleidoscape download, 65.6. Pretty good outsize there, plus one for K. So Fury, very popular movie for demo, home theater demo purposes, 58.75 gigabytes. 4K Blu-ray rip, 70.6 gigabytes. 4K HDR, Kaleidoscape download. Pretty good win there. All right, here is some anime that we can compare. Studio Ghibli, looking at Kiki's Delivery Service. HD Blu-ray rip, 25.52 on the server, Kaleidoscape download, 45.8 gigabytes. And I can say this is pretty consistent for the Studio Ghibli movies across the board, that the Kaleidoscape downloads significantly outsize regular uh, the regular HD Blu-ray downloads. And I want to point out too that it's not the fact that there's special features embedded. As you often get with Kaleidoscape, the special features come with the HD download of the movie, so they would be pumping the download size in those cases. But note, there are no special features available for Kiki's here on the Kaleidoscape download. So that 45.8 is all movie, all video, all audio. Not quite, but close to double, double the size. And that's pretty consistent for all of the, all of the content from this studio. All right, here's a little more animation. Ghost in the Shell from 1995, the 4K anime from the 4K disc. 48.88 uh, gigabytes on the rip, 46 gigabytes on Kaleidoscape. We'll call that a wash. All right, another relatively new film here, Ghostbusters Afterlife, 49.56 gigabytes, 4K RIP, MKV, 65.4 Kaleidoscape download. Pretty significant out, outsize there in favor of K. All right, quick look at some G-Kids Shout Factory animation. 
in this case, Bell. I think this is one of the latest, one of the last few, anyway, uh, G Kid Shout releases. HD Blu ray, MKV RIP 21.6 gigabytes, Kaleidoscape download 49, more than double. And again, there is no special features here. So that 49 is not being padded with special features. That's movie, movie only. Pretty significant and similar mapping to what we saw with the Studio Ghibli titles. <clears throat> or if you want to watch some anime, Disc versus Kaleidoscape, there's some pretty significant outperforms here. Godzilla, one of my favorite uh, movie series and all of that. Unfortunately, a lot of it's held with Criterion. Kaleidoscape doesn't actually carry most of the more classic many Godzilla films. But looking at the MonsterVerse, we've got Godzilla King of the Monsters from 2019. 61.58 4K MKV Blu-ray rip. 70.4 Kaleidoscape. We'll give that to plus to Kaleidoscape. All right, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I just randomly kind of chose the one in the middle. We've got 4K Blu-ray rip size, 56.47 gigabytes. Kaleidoscape download, 86.4. 86 versus 56. Pretty soundly, soundly spanking physical media. All right, let's take a look at NBC Universal Illumination. In this case, Sing 2 2021. I've got 63.2 gigabytes on the 4K Blu-ray rip, 59, 59 gigabytes on the K download. That's a difference of four, less than 10%. We'll call it even. All right, here's one that I think should be of interest. No Time to Die, James Bond, latest James Bond movie from 2021. I've got 74.89 4K Blu-ray rip, Kaleidoscape download, 88.5. More than 10%, we'll give this plus to Kaleidoscape, and an honorable mention as well that K has the entire James Bond franchise available in 4K. Um, some HDR, I think some are just 4K UHD, and hopefully if you're a K customer, you're able to capitalize on the Super Bond bundle that was uh, available just a few weeks ago. I bought every single film <laughs> under that bundle, cha-ching. All right, John Wick, in this case, Chapter 3, 73.37 gigabytes on disk, 70.1 gigabytes Kaleidoscape download. Call it a wash with uh, the tip of the hat to physical media. All right, Jurassic Park. In this case, we'll go back to the first film, original Jurassic Park from 1993. Look at it as a catalog title, NBC Universal, 53.21 gigabytes physical media, 4K Blu-ray rip, 67.4 gigabytes Kaleidoscape download. Nice outperformance there. Give the nod, the plus to Kaleidoscape. King Richard, Warner Brothers, Discovery, 75.92 gigabytes physical media, 73.7 gigabytes Kaleidoscape. We have a wash. All right, Last Night in Soho, 2021 movie, NBC Universal, 53.48 gigabytes physical media, 61.7 Kaleidoscape. It's greater than 10%. We'll give the plus one to K. Mad Max Fury Road, 44.99 gigabytes physical media rip, 61.7 gigabytes Kaleidoscape download. Another plus for Kaleidoscape. All right, if you're into this stuff as all, if you're into this stuff at all, you know I had to pull this one out. This is like the mic drop. It's the one that's quoted everywhere. Avengers Endgame physical media 4K Blu-ray rip, 55.43 Kaleidoscape 4K HDR download, 100.3 gigabytes. Disney really screwed this one up. Avengers Endgame should have been on a BD100, not a 66. And, and yeah, uh, massive plus one mic drop moment for Kaleidoscape on this film for sure. But for fair comparison, that, that one is a little bit of an, an anomaly, I think. Let's look at the something newer in the Marvel Universe, in this case Sony Pictures as well though. Spider-Man No Way Home, 64.91 gigabytes, physical media Blu-ray rip, 78.1 gigabytes Kaleidoscape download, plus one to K again. All right, Matrix, original 1999. I don't have Resurrections to compare, so we'll stick with the original. 54.53 gigabytes physical media rip, Kaleidoscape 71.8, sound out performance again. Disney Pixar Luca 2021 movie, 41.73 gigabytes physical media, 55.1 gigabytes Kaleidoscape 4K HDR download, plus one for K. Uh, 20th Century Fox, War for the Planet of the Apes, 42.58 gigabytes, 4K physical media rip, 77.2 gigabytes Kaleidoscape. Sound out performance here. Ready Player One, Warner Brothers Discovery, 
movie. I've watched the race scene probably a hundred times. Haven't actually sat down and watched the whole movie yet. In any case, 69.55 gigabytes physical media, Kaleidoscape 73.6. We'll call this a wash, tip of the hat to K, but we will count this as an even comparison. All right, let's take a look. Rocky, I just grabbed Rocky 4. Uh, can't compare the original Rocky, which is available in 4K HDR and Kaleidoscape. Not available on 4K disc, at least yet. Uh, but in any case, Rocky 4 HD to HD comparison, 23.74 gigabytes uh, HD Blu-ray rip, 27.8 Kaleidoscape download. That's bigger than the 10%, not by a lot, but I'm going to go ahead and give a plus one to K. Uh, one more here, Ron's Gone Wrong. 20th Century Fox animation, in this case, 44.8 gigabytes physical media, 58.5 gigabytes Kaleidoscape, sound plus one to K. Uh, some more animation, anime in this case, Shout Factory, but from, but from some different studios and rights holders, Children Who Chase Lost Voices, 29.85 HD Blu-ray rip, 46.5 gigabytes Kaleidoscape download, plus one to K. All right, Sonic the Hedgehog, Paramount. The 2020 movie, the first one, the number two isn't available on disc yet as of this recording to compare. 51.13 gigabytes 4K MKV rip, 58.8 gigabytes Kaleidoscape download. Slim, but we are over the 10%, so I'm going to give the plus to Kaleidoscape. Star Trek 2009, 55.18 gigabytes physical media, 73.5 gigabytes Kaleidoscape, a sound plus one for another Paramount film. Got to get a Star Wars film in here. Return of the Jedi, 4K Blu-ray rip, 46.51 gigabytes. Kaleidoscape download, 78.2, major plus one. Tenet, 2020 film. Christopher Nolan again from Warner Brothers, 69.25 gigabytes. 4K physical media, 81.1 gigabytes. Kaleidoscape, another win for Kaleidoscape. Terminator 2, Judgment Day, Lionsgate in this case. First Lionsgate one we've seen. I believe 52.55 gigabytes 4K disc, MKV rip, 73.3 gigabytes Kaleidoscape download. Another sound win for Kaleidoscape. I had to do this one. Transformers the movie 1986, one of my all-time favorites. 57.88 gigabytes off the 4K disc. That's pretty considerable. 46 gigabytes on the Kaleidoscape download. And this is Shop Factory, who has kind of a track record of doing better on K than on disc. This one's a flip. Got to give it the plus one to physical media in this case. Come on, Kay, re-encode this movie. I want like 75 gigabytes of 1986 Transformers. So there you go. 42 total movies looked at. 30 of them, Advantage Kaleidoscape, by at least 10% in terms of size of the 4K rip versus the Kaleidoscape download. Some of them were slim, but more were not slim than were. There were some pretty considerable difference there differences there across quite a number of those films. So 30 advantage Kaleidoscape, three. Three advantage to physical media. And then nine washes. So are you considering a Kaleidoscape? Does this help you out at all? I think there definitely is something to the truth that the, the marketing statement, the sales pitch, whatever, you want the highest quality source in general, right, for your high-end premium home theater, luxury home theater, any type of home theater maybe for that matter, Kaleidoscape wins. And then you start factoring in all of the other conveniences and other features. And yes, video, uh, movie to movie, not all of those size differences might equate to directly measurable, visual, impactful quality differences, but the more data, the better off you are in terms of setting up setting up the quality itself. And, and I know specifically in that set of movies, there are some where the quality of the Kaleidoscape and code has been brought into question, like Blade Runner 2049. But one of the other virtues of the platform, of course, is that they can do digital updates to the, to the content. So they fix it in code, they make something better, they can push out an update, you can download it. Can't do that with a disc. So, so many virtues to the platform, but I'll leave it right here. That's a whole lot of data. Let me know what you think about it. Sound off in the comments. I'm very eager to, to see what kind of comments this video gets. If you want to learn more about Kaleidoscape, check out the Kaleidoscape playlist and the other videos on the channel. Pretty massive amount of Kaleidoscape coverage there. Thanks so much for watching. Please do all the regular YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications and all of that. And if you are going to buy a Kaleidoscape system, please use my referral code down below. It kicks me back a little bit of movie credit in their store so I can keep adding to my collection. Thanks so much.